All right, welcome back to our break from Video Bros. All right, um, this we, is a special edition. We have two friends here. We've Sean, got our, say hi. We got our hello, people of YouTube. We've got one of our, uh, my best friends who's down from Arizona. I've talked about him before on the show. His name is Sean, and uh, he was on a date earlier. Tell us how that went, Sean. Well, it went pretty well. Um, I can't say anything for sure right now, but you know what? She not. She, she was lovely. one. Uh, tell you one sexy and smart girl. Tell you that. Alright. Usually Jewish people are smart. I'm not saying as a stereotype, just most Jewish people I know are very intelligent. Exactly, that's that's what we do. Plus she was really fucking sexy, so. Ray, are you Jewish? No, I'm not. Alright, I didn't we think you were. Oh, oh you didn't introduce him. Oh yeah, also a friend of ours, Ray, though uh I have grown up with him nearly as much as Sean has. But, hey guys, uh, I'm Ray. Yeah, we usually do a little show from uh, the location of my house. Or sometimes Jeff's house, like we did for Soul Calibur 2. But uh, this time we're doing it from Ray's house. I'm going to my map. You're a map. Alright, so what are we I doing found, today? Are I we found doing out before where to go, and I felt like such a dumbass. Is this where you, where you got pissed? This is where you got pissed off where you tried to yeah, look. This, tried to, to, look. the fan is retarded. You can't walk in the rough and look at the bottom. Yeah, because the fan hits you if it's on and you're on it. But look, this is the room where we have to go. I feel like a fucking idiot for not figuring that out. Look, you have to slap him in the ass. But oh. The point is, in the last episode, guys, you weren't watching it, but we couldn't figure out where the fuck the key was to get to the boss room. We have the boss key, but there's another key we need to get to it, and we couldn't find it. What are they thinking called again? Uh, I think... No, I was thinking another thing. I think they're called Shieldos. And so what's the point of so smacking can... these people in the ass? That, that seems like sexual harassment. It apparently he kills people, people and that's how you kill them. But no, right? And so you say you yeah, kill people by sexual harassing them. Well, You're these... fucking advertising! Well, in this game... Guess what? Nintendo's just have a bunch of... Bunch of... Going on. Well, Nintendo, crazy. Nintendo's a Japanese company, and Japan's pretty weird. Yeah. Bunch of pancakes ass though. Did we you not? love it. Did you not ever play that game, Rayplay? No, you know what's a weird game in Japan? What? Mo Mother or Ar Earthbound? What the hell is that? With um. It's, oh, you yeah, Earthbound. I remember. The Earthbound's not a bad game, but it's fucking weird. Like apparently you have to fight a lamp in that game or something like that. Oh yeah, in the beginning of the game, when like oh, shit starts going crazy, you have to like fight a lamp. In uh, Earthbound, it's. Oh, it guys, I don't know if, if any of you have seen this creepy pasta, but I was watching this creepy pasta, and it said like the boss you fight at the end of Earthbound is, is supposedly like the design of it resembles like a fetus or some shit like that. <laughs> what? I don't know how true wait, it is. So, I've never wait, played the game, but what the fuck is this shit? Yeah, from Earthbound. God oh damn. yeah. As if I need another fucking joy pen, and I already have as much as I can carry. Did you say you got a bunch of them before? Yes, I was waiting to tell people. I, uh, farmed a bunch of joy pendants because you need to get a Triforce shard by getting one. I hate those things. One of them you need to get out of the way. What are those people doing? I forget. They're called flowers, spinning thing. They're called pea hats. He looks like a penis, so... Um, oh, the bats are called... See, that's what you're fucking looking at, you two. A big penis. But, like... Fuck, what was I gonna say? Um... I farmed a bunch of uh, joy pendants in uh, the cave on Dragon Island that's hidden below a rock because there's a Triforce shard that you can get by giving a bunch of joy pendants to the teacher in Fall Island. She'll give you, like, she gives you the teacher at Havana, and it's Oasis Island, and uh, it's near Tower of the Gods, and there's a piece of the Triforce there. So, yes, it is something you have to do. I already did it off of the show because it would be boring to watch. I'm just gonna slowly walk towards you with this big fucking club. That's oh, heavier than you, my own head. For you guys out there who follow, you guys out there follow us, I'll um, have some news to share with you guys. You guys keep following us. You're um, gay! Um, yeah, keep following us, keep liking our videos, subscribe, follow us on Twitter. Fuck bitches, get money. Exactly, follow us on Facebook. 
Um, follow us. <laughs> I like how we just ignored what Sean said. It's like, mm, yeah, just follow us on Twitter. Right, and... Fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> fuck you. I'm, I'm kidding. I love you guys. I love you too, Sam. Um, well, whatever. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. All the link down below. We're 2 can Sam. Um, but for reals. Um, oh, it's 2 can Sam. We put up a video before. You guys can see it. That what we're doing in the future. Of the Retron 5, we are not going to get until my birthday now. Yeah, it was delayed. Apparently, it was delayed now because they have... Um, oh my god, how'd that reach it? I have no idea. Just, just do your spinny thing so you get them off. Uh, bolts I like. I have more than one on me where I would have to do this. Um, but what I was saying before, any of you guys who are going to get a Retron 5, I know me and Brandon are very much. We want to get one really bad for the, for the show. We're not going to get that for my Explain birthday. Explain to Ray and Sean what a Retro 5 is. Yeah, what uh, a Retro 5 is. Uh, it's like one of those custom-made uh, like, consoles that you can play several types of games on. Oh, okay. Kind of like those handheld... Is it handheld or no? No, uh, it's like a no. console. It's, 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 oh, it's, 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 like, like, it's like a real console. It plays, it? It plays NES games. It plays Super NES games. Oh, so, so it has like multiple disc ports and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and it does cost a fortune? No, it's not $100. No fucking way. Exactly. You and it play? runs okay. and it runs Android on it, so you can, you can get uh, firmware updates, anything you want. Can right? you also it play works Atari on, games I'm on it? No. no, you play you, you play NES, Super NES, Sega Genesis, Sega Genesis, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and the Japanese equi equivalents of each one of those systems. Yeah, like the Famicom and Super Famicom. And the Super that Master sounds system. so sexy. It is, and you can use like you can use original controllers. For front of free system, well, or, you can, or you can use the build, or you can use the the wireless like control. That guy. I think I came a little bit in my pants. Oh, guys, what game are you most excited for for the next gen of consoles? Uh, Infamous Second Son, and Super Smash Brothers, Brothers. and Watch Dogs, Super Smash Brothers Four. Oh, um, most I really want to get Watch Dogs. That game's gonna be the motherfucking ass. Well, Mario Dog kicks ass. But that's, not a, that's not a million. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would say the that's, games that's that's Ubisoft Ubisoft to Ubisoft too. Ubisoft, right? Ubisoft's but, um, a good company too. What's the, what's the new? What was the new? Um, you were thinking of the Last of Us. Last of Us, right? That game came out in June, dude. But thinking of this that shit. That was last gen. Um, oh, what is it? Like nineteen fifty-two. Whatever. Um, what do you call it? Um, Nod and Dog is slacking. We want a new Jack and Daxter game. It's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. No, they only made three. They only made three. They will make more. No, they're not. Oh, no, mine did. fuck. They, they right don't the series. They're done. No, they're not. You know what I hope they I do? Forgot. There's I forgot. I have so much more to I have say. to get Makar, but that shouldn't take long. I know where he is. Makar is that little tree guy that we have with us. Um, I have some gaming news to share with you guys. Anyone who's a fan of Crash Bandicoot? Uh, yeah, I used to like him. Um... After the fact, after Naughty Dog went out of the business with him, they made they made like three games, and some and some company made like the fourth game, Crash Come Bash, on. for the PS One. Yeah, yeah, Crash Bash. And then and then oh no, then they helped they helped with they helped with um the Wrath, the Wrath of, of Cortex, but it was oh all, that game kicked ass. It was, it, but it was it was it was a, it was between them and um Activision. Then whoever made like the last few games, like um Clash of Titans. There he is. I Those two games suck. Yeah. yeah. Whoever made those sucked, but Activision is taking back to get the rights to the No, No, Konami made Wrath of Cortex. That's Konami's a good game company. I fucking love Konami. No, they... Okay, fine. Well, they suck. They suck at making Crash Bandicoot. But... No, Konami made Wrath of Cortex. That game was a fucking masterpiece. They did? Yes! I didn't know that. Wait, what game did they make? No, Wrath of Cortex? Really? I didn't know, actually. I don't look it up. No. But... Really? They made a game I never played before? I, I have no idea, but was anyway, was made by whoever made whoever made the early Crash Bandicoot game for the PS2, whatever, like the early early ones, that was Naughty Dog. No, they made the, they made the, the first three games, and then they got out of the business. Now I got the little tree Actually, guy. The four, the, they made four games, and they got out of the business. Look at this little guy, isn't he cute, guys? Hey, what the fuck? Anyway, is what I'm looking forward to is Mirror's Edge 2, because the first game was the fucking. They're making piss. a Mirror's Edge 2 after all these years. Yeah. Wait, when did the first one come out? Was the it like 2008? Yeah, I know it was good. I love that oh, game. Oh, yeah, I hate these guys. Oh, fucking, I hate those guys. You don't get them. No, I just skip them. So um, now watch what I'm gonna do. Music time. Yes. By the way, there's an episode where Jeff nearly made me pee in my pants. You guys, I don't know if you saw it, because I was laughing very hard because he got very mad at me for farting into the microphone. Oh, you so would. He and, does. I'm and then he's just like, why? Why the <laughs> fuck would you do that? I, I, you're I, a retard. 
You're like, a fucking sadist. No, I'm, like, I'm, you're I, may a be hypocrite. I may be a hypocrite because I did it once, but it wasn't that loud the way he did it. It was like fucking... Oh my god, those guys just killed themselves. No, you themselves. queefed. You fucking queefed. No, I farted, in, I, farted, I farted in the camera, I mean the microphone, but it was like really, really like barely, you could barely hear it though. Yeah, I he heard it, it was like a poppy fart, I couldn't hear it. He did that shit for fucking me, uh, for me to get back. I hate those things. Oh, the four, the four masters are fucking assholes. Nice. These things look like they're cute, but they're annoying. They look like giant. You know what I can't wait to play in the show now? What? After watching this game? What? You know what I can't wait to play on the show now? What? what? Symphony of the Night? That I, wanna, I can't no, wait to revisit this. But on the topic, because we're playing Wind Waker and we're playing Toon Link here, we have a new version of Smash Bros. that we're gonna play. What? Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna eventually in the show we're gonna play a hacked version of Brawl, and it's like way improved. Than it's a way. Way. They fixed a lot of crap. How is it better? Like. Tell just, them, just, just, just let me tell you this. Let me tell you this way. You play Brawl. Yes. You know, you, you know, how, to, brawl, you know so. how the fact that when you run really fast, you trip over everything? Yeah. They, yeah. they fix that shit. As if you're slipping on a banana field. Yes. You guys Nothing will trip you in the game pills. except for items that actually trip you. What? Nothing will trip you in the game except for items that actually trip you. Oh, no shit. Like, meaning, like meaning, if you run really, meaning if you run really fast, Let's you won't. Especially bananas, because you catch you. Bananas will trip you, yes. But if, you, but if you run really fast, you can't trip or anything. The game plays really fast. It plays just like Super Smash with a melee. Like it really fucking plays. So now you're seeing what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say that right now. Um, if you guys, I'm not gonna tell you any details right now until we actually play it though. But um, if you if you guys want if you guys can hear me, if you guys can understand what I'm saying here, um, you can look it up. If you have an idea what we're talking about, you can look it up. But, but definitely, we're not ah, gonna go away. We're go not away. Gonna, we're not gonna. What do you call it? We're not gonna give any details away. A lot of details away. No. Except, except for the Jeff. fact that I can't wait for the new version to come out. Jeff. What? Pull your fucking laptop out and show Sean and Ray that creepy shit from GTA 5 I told you about. Can I do that? Why is Scar my goddamn mind, mind, guys? What? What, Sean? Where is Scar us? No, don't show me anything. Don't show me anything on here. Oh, oh, we're fine. I'll freak you out. Uh, suicide maps. No, don't even try that shit. I'm fucking with you. All right. That shit is creepy. I know, it's not scary. It's fucking... Well, we're about to get to the boss. Let's well, not head into the after we beat the well, boss. No, we're going to stop and then we're going to the boss. All right. Well, that's fine. Yeah. But not until I get up to the door. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. I have to bring this little bastard over here so I don't have to bring him over again. Stay behind the wall. He's like, what the fuck are you doing? So, did you see the episode of Jimmy video? now? Did you see the new video that she's in one. Her, about her, her honeymoon? Yeah, about her trip. Oh yeah, yeah, Sean, I don't know if I we told you this, but uh, Aaron, you know, Eagleraptor, him and his uh, fiance got I finally got married. Really? Yeah. After, all, after like, I don't know date, years, That was literally the only girl he ever dated, and they've been dating for ten years. That's he probably dated one or two girls before her, but she was like... No, he girl. said that that literally was the only girl he ever dated. Really? Yeah. Well, no shame in that if you're a good girl. She is. Exactly. Girl, there's very few of them left in this world. Good job. They, did, they were dating for 10 years, and the crazy way about how they started dating, I remember Aaron talked about it. I started on a talk show. On a talk he, show. He talked about it on a talk show once, too, that Susie's friends with, and they were on the show together for once, and then they fought each other in Mortal Kombat 9. Yeah. It was awesome, but, like, and that was when I first heard about it. Aaron said that he set his friend up to date her once, like, years ago, like... No, he didn't, no, he didn't he another girl. He hooked up his friend with her. No, it wasn't and, her. And then his friend ended up not going to the date. And then he went to the date, and they ended up, like, hitting it off, and they ended up liking it. It wasn't too. actually that. It was the fact that, you know, his friend... His, his friend hooked up Aaron with, with a toward a different girl, right? Yeah. And then she, the girl never showed up. So he went over to the bar, went to the bar whatever. And then he saw he saw Suki sitting there, whatever. They they started talking. They hit it off. And then, I'm walking slowly and then down years later, the they got everlasting stairs. Um. By the way, no. Nope, did, did you ever see the thing on YouTube? Forever. You know the thing on YouTube when you, when you when you go up to what to watch. What? Did you ever see when you go on the first on, on the YouTube homepage and what to watch? All right. Before we end the episode, I'm I'm just playing the song to break the door. All right. Um. But do you know when it tells you like what to watch in it? What to watch on YouTube? Yeah, like a recommended for yeah. you or something. Do you ever still, you do you ever still think with Aaron Hansen, like Susie, whatever, doing like those like dancing dance videos, or whatever? Like they probably they have, like their own dance videos on YouTube, like own like the whole thing, man. You ever notice that his the stick for his cello has like balls? The yeah, it looks like a penis. It's penis similar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It looks like balls. 
Would you ever see that film? Speaking of symbolism, my brother's girlfriend was saying the other day that the beginning screen when you select Moonraker HD from the Wii U menu. Illuminati. That, yeah, he was saying okay. that. Sure. They, were, they were saying that that's Illuminati okay. symbolism. Okay. Oh, I've because of the like, Triforce and the Demon, I'm like, well, that's Ganondorf, and that's I really fucked up to tell you guys. And he's like, that's what they want you to think. Illuminati. I sound really fucked up to tell you guys. Um, I was watching... Yeah. You, you guys watch Looney Tunes, right? Yeah. Not, not the new, uh, like, all the old shit. Yeah, you, yeah the I old hate ones. the new Looney Tunes. Yeah, all, the new old ones. I was watching today, because they finally brought it back on the boomerang. Okay. Really? So I was watching an episode... Oh, I, have, I've watched them. Yeah. I, it's not back on, it's been on. No, it's been on Cartoon Network, not boomerang. Oh. But anyway, I was watching today, me and my sister watching I swear to God, there's an episode where Porky Pig was like one oh, of these... Oh, fuck. Why did I not catch Porky Pig, Por Porky Pig was a farmer, right? Yeah. He had his own house or whatever, and his dog was trying to, trying to be his, his servant. Are we going to end it? Or I'm going to end it right after I say this. Penis. So, the dog is trying to get to be, to, be, to be the owner, to be Porky Pig's dog, right? And he says this really weird shit, like, oh, you can't, you can't let me sit down here. I'm going to go out in the city. What is this? I'm going to go out... A glitch. No, you just go. You just go really far into the thing. I don't want to see that guy's ass. Huh? Oh, no, it's Jeff. Head. No, but you're such an ass man, Jeff. The thing on the top. But any ass you ass. get. No, but anyway, what I'm saying though. No, no, Brent, that's for you. You love the fucking asses. Yeah, yeah. but that's a little tree guy. <laughs> okay, well, bestiality. Anyway, what I'm saying. <laughs> that's a, he's okay. a Korok. Okay, what I was saying before though. So the dog is trying to say all this shit, right? To get to get him to go into the into into the beat. Look, look at him wiggling. He's like, put me the fuck down. Put him down. Fuck then. me, baby. Put, put me down. the fuck just, down. Just put him down for now. Yeah. Because um, he has. I imagine him as like a little kid voice. So anyway, what I was saying though, like Jimmy from Bob. Let me, let me finish what I'm saying. What I was saying though is, so he's saying all this shit to get him to get poor, to get to be poor to take his owner, right? Yeah. yeah. And then he's like, oh no, you can't bring me into the city. The city is too cold. I'm gonna get sick there. No, no, the towers. The towers, they're falling. They're falling. I can't go to the city. They're falling. Oh, it's fuck. fucked up. Oh, fuck. No, I, can, I can even show that on YouTube. It was, and they were, they were literally talking about the Twin Towers. How long does your laptop take to charge? I don't know, but... Because I really want... It's taking this long. Because I have a matter to bring to hand. Um, I was trying to discuss before, and we're going to end the episode after I bring this up, but... I don't know how I didn't figure this out, but my cousin showed me a video yesterday while my family's over for Thanksgiving. Yeah, your cousin Vinny? Um, no, my cousin Nick, actually. No, my cousin Vinny. Okay, he's just walking around I here. actually do have a cousin Vinny. He's just walking around here. You want to wrap this up? But, uh, he's just walking around here. He showed me a video of this ghost girl Easter egg in GTA 5. Okay. And what it is, is there was a girl that, like, uh... No, we should, wait, no, we should not even say anything. Show them it, and then talk about it in the next episode. You, I was trying to get you to show it, but... I know, I'm ruining it. I, I, well, now well, they fucking know. Well, whatever. Just go then. Well, I guess we'll play it, and we'll... When we edit the video, we'll insert it, but, like, like pictures of her. But, like, what happened was... There was a guy who was a politician in the game series, this guy named Jock Pransley. Yeah. In GTA. Okay, Back funny. apparently in San Andreas or something. And also he's impartially mentioned in GTA 5. He was a politician that quit his career as a politician to be a stuntman. And his wife wasn't really happy with that choice. And one day they went somewhere together where there was a cliff and he pushed her off the cliff and killed her. So her ghost lingers around between 11 p.m. and 12 a.m. in the in-game clock around this place called Mount Gordo, and she leaves a message in blood when you when she leaves yeah. and when she's there, Fuck. and she's just fucking creepy. Is she hot? No, she looks like the ghost girl. She looks like the girl from The Ring, and like when you approach her, she disappears. But when you walk away and back up further, she appears she again. She freaks you the fuck out. She appears for that one whole hour slash minute in the game. And the message in blood says Jock, because Jock was her husband that killed her. And it, the whole, there was even a newspaper article about it in the game and on this beach. And it's, How it's, do you not know about that, though? Like, it's like, fucking creepy as hell. I, like, didn't want to sleep last night. And I'm like, thanks a lot, cousin. You're giving me a fucking nightmare. I didn't want to scar me, too, when I had to fucking drive in the goddamn pitch black. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, whatever, fuck it. So now when I walk in my room at night, I expect to see a ghost girl standing in front of me. Uh oh, that ghost girl's me. You know what? Just think about the ghost girl from Front One. It's not as scary as that. Yeah, but that's more of just the like... fucking child thing. That's more of just like, why? Uh, I don't know, but she's fucking weird, though. You see her like, twice in the game and she just walks away. My little cousin slut. He's like, well, I'm scared. Um, all right. little cousin. In, uh, I think Paul or Chris. Did I meet them or not? I met... But they were my Uncle Billy's kids. They're like the younger ones. You know, 
Oh, they, weren't they at that, like that eight, part? Ten years old. All right, we'll go one more minute. We'll go one more minute. No, um, it's 19 minutes right now. So we'll no, it's, no, it's... I did now. All right. In the next episode, we will face Malgara. All right, um... The so...